We're gonna be taking a tour of the A1, apartment 11003 on the ground floor, located here at Regalia Villa Terra. This is a 728 square foot, one bedroom, one bath. Features a walk-in shower, our largest built-in desk, very open living room and dining room, and located in building one, very near parking, about 70 feet that way is open parking and there are semi-attached garages all along this wall so you can lease out a garage with a driveway and single car garage included those are 150 to add so adding that on the 1504 for a six month lease for this would bring it up to about 1700 ballpark i'll show you this floor plan step in Whoop. sorry about that there's a light out there we go <laughs> right off the entrance you have a little tile floor um, you have an alarm intrusion system, double deadbolt. We do allow you to have ring doorbells. Uh, this is the built-in desk right off the dining room here. It is roughly four and a half feet across, two feet deep, two feet high to the edge of the cabinet there. Open cabinetry and closed cabinetry below for storage. All your cable connections and ethernet connections are underneath. We do have valley trash. That's what the trash can is right there. This is the dining room. I'm trying to get a good perspective, but it is very spacious. End to end island to wall is about 10 and a half feet. Um, desk to edge of the, um, the peninsula here, excuse me, uh, is another uh, 11 and a half feet. Really the square you would use here is about six by seven for putting a dining room table against the wall or open center seating. Uh, with a table there. Very open living room here, uh, wall edge from that uh, doorway there to uh, end of the corner is about eight and a half feet. And to the edge of where you'd probably have the furthest bit of your couch would be about 12 feet. You can kind of flex it into the dining room and still make it very comfortable um, leading space to uh, you know go over to your kitchen. TV is definitely designated on this wall, but can function on this wall. Um, with with that setup, you would really you know fit your couch to a center side here and face there. But I think having on this wall, as long as you can manage you know entertainment on one single wall, I think works best. Looking at the kitchen here, it's more of a peninsula, but you do have room for a few uh, bar stools here. Under mounted sink, beautiful granite countertops that are an inch thick. This darker cabinetry here um, is a nice space. The glass backsplash and of course uh, cabinetry below. Your dishwasher is off the corner here, but of course you probably won't have this door open often. You open this up, it's a good size. No compact space there. Um, you have all stainless steel electric appliances, under mounted lighting. Your pantry space here is um, two singular cabinets separated by, you know, shelving inside that can be adjusted on your own if you'd like. The uh, fridge in here is a little different than the A3, the next apartment I'll show you. It is a standard fridge, so top freezer, bottom fridge, no water dispenser, but you do have an ice dispenser and a nice and cold inside. So you have top so ice dispenser here. In the other apartment, you'll see a French door setting. So side by side, fridge and freezer with a water and ice dispenser up front. You have cabinetry above that is about two feet deep, about a foot high, separated by its own shelf inside. Washer and dryer, full size on left and right, shelving above, and does share a space with a good size water heater. Everything is labeled here. I'm a nerd about this stuff, so I'm glad we have it labeled. Um, it makes your lifestyle a little bit easier to manage if anything is to go wrong per se. We also have a great on-site maintenance team, so you're in good hands with our whole staff. You'll love it here. This is a huge patio. It's something it's known for, the A1. Very deep patio. Um, it is roughly eight foot by another seven and a half foot. Um, that's rough estimates. I think it's actually a 10 foot, or excuse me, 11 foot by uh, eight foot across. You have a nice view here, kind of a, not an obstructed view, but a center view off of our pool space here. I'll head over into the bedroom. This apartment is technically facing west, but because of that building, that structure there, which is actually our half basketball court, you don't have those blinding sun views um, that you would have with a west facing apartment. This bedroom is a 13 by 12, perfect uh, rectangle here, center uh, windows, almost perfectly centered. So you can have your um, bed right off the, the wall there, or you can also do an opposite wall. Cable connections are here. They're on every major wall. Into the bathroom, you do have a guest connection off of the kitchen space, which we kind of passed 
uh, toilet off center um, with linens above. Good size vanity here. You have large drawers in the center, or excuse me, on the sides and uh, center cabinetry in the middle. Large single frame mirror with that front facing lighting. A beautiful medicine cabinet. I'm a nerd about this as well. I love eye level storage. I think you will as well. This is the apartment that features a walk-in shower. Our other A3 will feature a garden sized tub. Okay, this is a large walk-in closet we'll walk in. It's about 18 feet of rack space. Excuse me, 22 foot of rack space here um, with open storage right here. So you could add your own dresser, conserve wall space in your bedroom, do whatever you want on this. This closet is amazing. What, uh, the reason for this closet being so large is because there's no outside storage. Okay, so it moves it inside the home, which for most people's lifestyle works great. So we'll head out through the guest connection here. And that is the A1, beautiful floor plan.